Hey guys, what's up? So about a week ago, I realized that I could have the daydreams feature mentioned at Google I.O. on my Nexus 6P. However, you have to be on the latest Android in preview. But knowing me, I have to have whatever is latest and greatest from Google. So I had to test this one out. So this will just be a quick little tutorial showing you how to get things started. So I went on the developer's website where it showed how to get started. But then it started to mention things like SDK, installation path, stuff I really have no clue about. So I placed it on a back burner for a while, thinking it would be too complicated to try. That was until I went and saw Max's video. It was really easy and all you need to do is install two simple APK files and that's it. After you've downloaded the file, just go to where you've stored it. I've stored mine in my downloads folder. Just find the controller APK, click on it and click install. Now once it's finished installing, just go ahead and reboot your phone. Now once you've finished rebooting your phone, go into the settings menu, scroll down to apps, click the icon right there, show system apps, scroll down, look for Google VR, Google VR services, click permissions, and make sure all three are checked. Now go ahead and disconnect from any Wi-Fi that you're connected to. Also, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. You're also going to want to go in settings and turn on location. And make sure the mode is set to high accuracy. Now on your other phone, you're going to want to install the controller emulator app. So go ahead, click install. Now you're going to want to make sure that your Bluetooth is on. Your location is on and the mode is set to high accuracy also. After that, you're going to want to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot. So go into settings, click more, click Federin and portable hotspot, turn the Wi-Fi hotspot on. You can create a password right here, save it. Now on the 6P, all you need to do is just connect to the controller phone. So we're right here, you put a password in. Now once it's connected, it might say no internet. So all you need to do is just make sure you stay connected. It doesn't matter. And after that, you're gonna just open Paint app. And you should see the little dot right there. Now once you've opened it up, click on the settings icon right there, click setup. And make sure the VR notifications is turned on as well as enable controller emulator. Now go to your controller phone and open the controller emulator app. Once you've done that, it should say connected and that's it. So that's been it guys. Thanks for watching. As always, my name is Daquan and I'll catch you in the next one. Zine.